Hi, everybody, and I hope you're having a really great day. I really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave me, and I would like to hear from a lot more of you, like, what are you doing? How is the stores in your area doing? And today, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how we really need to move away from the stores and how we really need to not be spending so much money on these canned foods that are for 25 years they're very expensive and there's better ways of spending your money than on that now if you're looking at this cattle this is actually a dairy farm now yes it's true that the meat at the store has become very very expensive now you would be shocked if i showed you if i went into the grocery store and i showed you where I shop, what aisles I shop at, because I don't. I go to the grocery store every couple of months simply because I like to get out, like to go look. It gives me an idea of what's going on. But I don't really buy anything. I have bought, I think about seven months ago, I bought a chuck roast. Seven months ago. I don't buy beef. Um, I don't really care for it. Now, this is the corn that they use to feed all that dairy cattle. Could you imagine trying to grow all that? Now, a lot of people are going to wish that a lot of money that they have spent on stocking a store, and they're going to wish they had it all back to pay their bills. Things are getting extremely expensive. You know, stop and think about all these people have generators because if electricity goes down, they can run the refrigerators or freezers or off of the generator. Well, I don't know. Not the price of gas now. But I want to show you this. Chickens. Now, I know that some of you are going to say, well, I can't, I can't have chickens. But there's a lot of people who can, but they don't. Because they think they can run to the store and get their chicken and they can get their eggs from the store. But the day is coming when they can't. And they're not going to be able to. So if you can grow chicken... This is the only meat you have to have. That's it. Chicken. You can survive on eating chicken. Now, you can survive on rabbit meat, but you have to have other fats. Because rabbit meat is such a lean meat. Now, back in the Depression, there was a lot of people that grew rabbit because the government actually went around checking. And so, people raised rabbits and said it was the kids' pets. And it's easier also, you can get away with raising rabbits in the city. I've known several people who did. I know several people that had trees, big trees. They would hang underneath their trees. They would actually hang their cages. They didn't even have a shed to put the rabbits in. And if you have other fats like lards, oils, butters that you're getting on a regular basis... You can survive with rabbit. You can. But I prefer chickens because it's eggs and meat. Now, goats. I raise goats because meat. I, I prefer the taste of this meat far more than I do beef. And milk. And so, I have two meat sources. Okay? Now, I have flour, sugar, and beans. Every... I, all of you know this. I've said it in video after video. I can take one meal. And usually I can turn that meal into three or four different meals. Actually different. I've got a... I'm going to show you uh, um, a soup that I made. And from that soup I'm going to make three other meals. And they're going to be completely different. Now, she's eating grower here. And from yeah. this grower, she'll eat it. For a little bit longer, so it helps put some weight on her because we're going to butcher her. The hay that she doesn't eat or the hay that any of the goats leave in their feeders, I pick it up at the end of the day and I give it to the chickens. Chickens love it. They eat it. They love it. And so that's my two meat sources. Now, vegetables, you all know I have no polis. And I grew cucumbers, tomatoes. Potatoes and zucchini this year in my garden, and they all did very good. Now, 
I've been eating the potatoes and cuc- as a matter of fact, I ate cucumbers. I make cucumber water, and I also I've got more um, zucchini coming. Huh? We love zucchini. We eat that all summer. Now that's not to say that you might want something different. That's fine if you go to the store and you say, oh, "I'll just get me a bag of broccoli or something like that." But you're not dependent upon the store. You can survive without the store, and that is the point. You have to get to the point where you don't need to go to the grocery store. It's not a must. It's, you know, like I do, if, if I do it, <laughs> buy some ice cream or hot fries or just to look around. Mostly limes. I don't go to short store and shop. I really don't. I might replace some dishwashing liquid or a bottle of dish soap that I use because I keep all that kind of things on hand too. But I don't replace food.